Okay, so welcome back. Um, in the previous videos, we looked at a transient waveform, voltage waveform, we generated uh, on our scope from capturing the startup of a DC power supply that was in constant current mode. And we saw that the voltage went very high. So we saved that waveform as a uh, CSV file. And the goal here in this video is to take that CSV file and bring it into LT Spice, show you how to bring it in and make it a source in LT Spice so we can simulate it, use it as a source and simulate a circuit and how the circuit would respond to that transient waveform. And in this case, uh, since the voltage went really high, um, we went up to like 10 volts and we only needed like uh, three volts to uh, do constant current in our circuit. Um, the goal here is to see, well, maybe we can use it as a source and simulate clamping that voltage with a Zener diode and seeing how we go about doing that. Okay, so here we are in LT Spice, and the goal here is to take a CSV file that contains data for a pulse, and this is the pulse that we're getting uh, into LT Spice. And as we showed in a previous video on how to get a CSV from an oscilloscope, um, we got a CSV uh, that was the result of us starting up a constant current mode power supply and the voltage went up to 10 volts when in fact it only needed to be down here in the three, three or two or three volt uh, level in order to push the current we wanted. So we have taken this waveform from the oscilloscope, from the real world uh, circuit, and we brought it into LT Spice, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And then the, the goal here is to generate this waveform in LT Spice, the exact duplicate, and then maybe what we want to do is try out a Zener diode to clamp this, since it went way above what we expected it to. Maybe we can clamp it with a Zener, and we've got a little circuit here. We're going to show how to... Uh, use this and simulate it and develop a clamping. So we start out like we ended up with in the previous video where we talked about getting the CSV from the scope. And basically the CSV is just these two columns, one with a time and the B column is with values for this pulse. Okay, so that's, that's all it is. And that's all you need to bring into LT Spice. So how do you do it? Well, here I've got a voltage source. Now, if you looked at my previous videos on basics of LT Spice, you know how to get a voltage source. So um, we're going to right click on this. And we went into the advanced, uh, not just a DC source, but an advanced source. And way down the bottom is a PWL file that you can input. That means piecewise linear, which is just fancy term for allowing you to bring in a, a CSV file like the one we have here and generate a waveform uh, in your voltage source. Okay, so all you got to do is browse to the location of the CSV you, you um, saved from the previous exercise um, and hit OK and you now have a source, a voltage source that is this pulse. And you can see here, I've got the pulse that, if you recall from the previous video, went from zero up to 10 volts and then settled down to about uh, two or three volts, which is what it needed for the constant current. So now we've got, we've, again, we've measured it right here. We're measuring the voltage out of the source. And what we want to do is clamp that, okay? 10 volts, let's say 10 volts is too much and we want to clamp it maybe five or six volts. So you don't damage whatever circuit. So we're going to use LT Spice to simulate that. And maybe the next step will be once we've simulated in LT Spice, we can send the same waveform to our uh, signal generator, our waveform generator, and apply it to a real world circuit that's got a Zener diode and see how well it clamps. But first, we're going to simulate it. So what I've done is I've added a just a, a limiting resistor here, 100 ohms. And I added a standard uh, Zener diode. So again, we showed before how to add components. 
And if I right click on this, I just added a diode and you can pick new diode and you can sort by breakdown voltage. So I just picked a 6.2 volt breakdown Zener manufacture on semiconductor and it's a um, BZX84C6V2L. So you can look up the spec sheet for that if you want. And here's the spec sheet for what it's worth. Um, you can see it's a, a surface mounted device. It's a small device and I just grabbed it. Um, it's got like a 250 milliwatt total power dissipation and it's about a 6.2 breakdown voltage, the one we we got. It's the um, 6V2 and it's about a 6.2 volt breakdown. So hopefully this will limit the um, voltage. It will clamp the voltage on our output to about 6.2 volts. So um, again, if you look at my previous videos on how to use um, LT Spice, this should be fairly simple to hook this up. So we made a simple circuit. So now let's measure the voltage on the output. And there you go. You can see it clamps at a little over 6 volts. Let me uh, change the color here so you can see a little bit better. And there is the voltage across the load. And you see it clamps it to a little over maybe around 6.5 volts. And then it comes back down. And um, if you measure the 6.2 volts, let's look at the current through the, the diode. And let's get rid of these guys. So here's the um, here's the voltage in this pink goes up to six and a half volts, and on the right hand side shows the milliamps. And you can see when it gets up to around six volts, it starts to conduct. And here's the current in blue, and you see it goes down to about uh, 36 milliamps. So if you multiply these out, the 6 volts and the 36 milliamps, you get about 250 milliwatts. And we saw in the spec sheet it's rated 250 milliwatts. Again, these are just ballpark numbers, just to show that you can now verify that you could put a Zener across here and you could clamp this to 6 volts so you don't damage your circuit. So again, uh, very simple. You just use a piecewise linear. You can browse for a file or you can input your own data if you want um, with this other piecewise linear where you put in the actual values. But here you just take the CSV file we generated and select it and you're good to go. So very simple, very easy. Um, hope this helps. Take care and have a really good day. Thanks.